Yes, we do. We call the funeral home and talk with them about your family's specific wants and needs as far as services go and gather the exact pricing so that then we can discuss it with you and make sure that that is something that will work within your budget. Yes, Everest is familiar with all funeral customs. It is imperative that we know the funeral customs because of the diversity in cultures across North America. Yes, we partner with a personal uh, translating service that uh, services over 170 different languages. We call and get an interpreter on the line, and then we can have further discussions with you and your family about the services uh, that we can help you with. Typically, Everest can save families thousands of dollars. However, we don't guarantee exactly how much we can save the families, but we do guarantee that we can show you many ways of how to save money. Yes. Most funeral homes are willing to negotiate pricing. However, when we are researching the funeral homes in the area, we may find that some of the funeral homes are already the least expensive that will fit the family's budget and needs. We can assist families with airfare and airline information hotel accommodations, limousine services, websites for urns and caskets that would save families money, as well as providing information to the funeral home uh, for vital statistics and letting the funeral home know the family's wishes. Everest is there to assist the family in every aspect. The family will have to answer over 100 questions in a very short amount of time. There are some things that the family will have to do on their own, such as give authorization to embalm and give the funeral home permission to pick up their loved one from their the place of death. Funeral homes will be contacted in the place where the death has occurred as well as the place where your loved one will be transported for the final funeral service. By law, your loved one does not have to be embalmed for any type of services at the funeral home, although the funeral may require embalming take place if you plan on having an open casket viewing for the public. Caskets, urns, and shrouds are allowed in green cemeteries as long as they are made from a material or substance that is non-toxic and biodegradable. With burial plots, they, usually the green cemeteries don't require a outer vault of any sort, so there's no concrete vault to buy or to place into the ground or anything that's made out of metal. They're simply placed into the ground so that the person and the casket in which they've been placed into, even to include the just regular burlap bag, is actually just, it just decays bomb naturally. Yes, technically they can but we need to check with local authorities and see what the rules and regulations are. Cemetery property can hold two or sometimes even three 
individuals in each plot. Each cemetery will let you know whether it has what's considered a second or third right of internment, and that just simply means that a second person can be buried there beside yourself. So couples such as him, or even children can be buried in the same spot as their parents or as husband and wife or what have you. Each funeral home will have their own regulations, but they'll let you know if that's it, if that's possible. Yes, you can have a service at a church, your home, or a park. However, it would need to be determined if the casket would be able to enter and exit the facility gracefully. If you would like to have the service at a park, you would need to contact the park officials for prior approval. If you go to a funeral home and you decide you want to have a visitation or your service at another facility, you're more than welcome to do so, and they'll let you know what you can and can't do. But generally, families can go to their place of worship, such as a church. They can go to the hall, such as the Knights of Columbus, or if they were a veteran, they can go to the VFW hall. Just as long as the establishment is available and the people that run the establishments are okay with it, there's no reason why they can't. Yes, cemeteries do require an outer burial container. It supports the weight of the earth and keeps the grave from sinking over time. It would just be a matter of contacting the cemetery and finding out what their specific regulations are. No, you do not have to purchase a casket from the funeral home. You can purchase a casket from a third party vendor and the funeral home has to accept it and they cannot require you to sign a disclaimer for the casket. I would simply just caution anybody who decides to do a vendor outside of the funeral home to just check on the reputation of that, that vendor. Funeral homes aren't, aren't responsible for any extra costs that are incurred in buying an extra, an extra casket outside of the funeral home, such as delivery charges, and they're also not responsible if it comes late, if it doesn't come at all, or if it's come damaged, or even after, if you have to go pick it up yourself. So make sure you just check on all that before you decide to use a vendor outside of the funeral home. Most funeral homes will require you to make all payments up front before services are rendered. This is just to make sure that they start paying on everything that you've asked them or discussed with during the arrangement conference. The only time you do not have to pay up front is if you if your the funeral home is taking assignment on an insurance policy you're deciding to use, or if you made any other type of arrangements with the funeral home or the funeral director. The typical cost for a traditional funeral service is $9,000. The typical cost for a cremation is $2,500. The average cost of shipping human remains to another country is around $10,000. However, pricing varies depending on what country the human remains are being shipped to. 